Guys, 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 I'm in between classes right now. I have a two hour time slot until I have to go to my psych class, but I saw something that I had to talk about in a video. I almost skipped today. I almost was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I just posted a video talking about how I take breaks moving forward, so I'm gonna take a break today. But no, they got, they, a group of people got scammed with a fake Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. That's real, and it happened, and I have to talk about it. I saw it, okay, so I, it all started when I was perusing through the X.com, the Twitter Incorporated, and I saw this tweet, that police were called to an immersive Willy Wonka experience after family showed up to an empty warehouse. An event reported charged $40 in entry, advertised with AI art, and said it would be a journey filled with wondrous creations and enchanted surprises at every turn. So... We, we've gotten to this point in civilization at this point. I knew that AI was going to be a dangerous thing. Sorry, my key. I'm just, I just got home. I knew AI was going to be a dangerous thing moving forward, especially with situations like this, because one of the big aspects that people always need to consider is people are stupid and they're going to fall for stuff like this. And so I looked into it and I, I went to the actual website for the Willy Wonka chocolate experience and... <laughs> I'm shocked! I'm just- I'm flabbergasted, astonished, and dumbfounded that this website actually got people to go to a warehouse. <laughs> this, this is just an insane story. Let me, let's look at it though, let's do a little bit of a once-over of the Willy's Chocolate Experience website, because Wow, <laughs> this is bad. So of course we have indulge in a chocolate fantasy like never before, captured like capture the enchantment. All right, I mean I like it. I'm all for it. So something I thought was really funny is they try to tell you all of the different parts of this Willy Wonka chocolate experience. There's so many different parts, but they open it with the welcome to the experience tr trademark. Dive into the whimsical Willy Wonka chocolate experience, a place where chocolate dreams become a reality. Book your adventure now and embark on a journey filled with wondrous creations and enchanting surprises at every turn. Really? Wondrous creations? Uh, are, are they real? No. Okay, so the first place is the Enchanted Garden, which, look at that Enchanted Garden. Oh my god, I want to visit there. That looks very real and, and also not AI generated at all. What is this? What is that? What is that thing? I don't like it. What is that? <laughs> That's giving me trypophobia right here. I just don't like anything about this. But yeah, journey begins with an enchanted garden with giant sweets, vibrant blooms, mysterious looking sculptures, and magical surprises. That's very nice. Who, and then I like navigate through the peculiar but enchanting garden, collecting delicious beans of all colors, shapes, and sizes. <laughs> it's like a jelly bean hunt. That sounds fun. Who knows? Perhaps you might be able to grow your very own enchanting garden. So not only are they claiming that you can go and visit Willy Wonka's true and real enchanted garden at the factory, but that if you take one of those beans home, who knows? Maybe you can grow candy in your own abode, your own backyard, your own property. And then next we have... <laughs> The Imagination Lab. Oh, yes. This is definitely not AI generated. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this? The Imagination Lab, prepare to be captivated by a visual spectacle. Uh, encounter mind expanding- Mind expanding projections? What? Optical marvels? Oh, I didn't- thought that Disney owned that. And exhibits that transport you into the realm of creativity. <laughs> Yes, I want to go there. Uh, this space invites you to a surreal journey where the boundaries between reality and fantasy harmoniously merge. What the f- Who wrote this? Goddamn, like, Edgar Allan Poe. We got a poet out here. Th an enchanting, visually striking encounter. Brace yourself for an adventure that will leave you spellbound. That was probably the most descriptive, non-descriptive description of anything I've ever read in my life. What is it?! <laughs> You said the Imagination Lab, and then we're like, it's captivating, it's a visual spectacle, it's between reality and fiction, it's cool looking, okay? And? What is it? Because all I see is Imagination Lab, with a bunch of, like, man-made horrors beyond my comprehension. <laughs> Not even man-made, because it's made by a goddamn robot. The Twilight Tunnel. Wow. Oh, this- <laughs> What is this? We got Lightning, we got Dimps Dickle. We got Tim Dim Tight, <laughs> twerding, depractions as com in comparison to dodgections. The Vivu sounds, which you can compare to the en enigmatic sound, en enigmatic sounds. The Ungarevil <laughs> with the Savide. People thought this was real. People bought this. They spent money. They even spent money on comparing Impretti and un unkspected twits. <laughs> 
Anyway, what is the Twilight Tunnel? In the Twilight Tunnel, get ready for the exhilarating and immersive adventure. Journey through the dimly lit passage adorned with captivating projections, enigmatic sounds, you use that word a lot, and surprising turns that will immerse you in suspense and excitement. It's a heart-pounding experience you've never experienced before. Uh, heart- there's no- Okay, you know what? Fine, let's- I- I- I'm- Getting them on their punctuation as if they didn't just post dim tight and twerting, but anyways, we have enter <laughs> entertaining entertain entertainment. At least they got entertainment, right? Who is that? That's a clown. That isn't even Willy Wonka. What is that? <laughs> oh, I want to go to Willy Wonka's uh, captivating entertainment or cat cat gacating live performances, Karchi tons, Exarcerde lollipops. And a pasadise of sweet teats. <laughs> this sounds like a wonderful experience. Why have I never thought of going here before? 40 bucks sounds like a minimum payment for this. Exper experience captivating live performances featuring charming characters singing original catchy tunes. Original, so we're not going to get to hear like the, the Oompa Loompa Loompa de Doo and shit. I want to hear the good ones. I don't need a link to your SoundCloud. Like, I don't care. Marvel at extraordinary props, oversized lollipops, and a paradise of sweet treats. This event guarantees an immersive and delightful entertainment experience, suitable for ages three plus years old. I don't think- Okay, maybe you should have said 13 plus? I don't think a three-year-old would be knowing how to, oh, like, understand any of this. He'd probably have a heart attack. Alright, so the rest of the site seems to just be showing practical info, so where it is. Um, so let's just book now. Damn it! No! God damn it! How- how am I gonna go to Willy Wonka's factory now? All right, whatever. I guess I'll just dig deeper into this stupid website. Info. Oh, experience. Oh, location. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Box hub where? Oh, what? What was that? What? Why are you hiding Easter eggs? Is there more? What? You're hiding Easter eggs in your website? <laughs> Wait, what? Is there more? No. Media partner, organizer, House of Illuminati. What? Wait, the house of the Illuminati made this? What is the privacy policy? We're the house of Illuminati. Okay, yeah. Who we who who we are? Children. What? What? <laughs> the personal information we collect about you. How we store your personal information. What? How we share your personal information. And who we share it with. Informational. Wait, what? You can't just skip past that. What? Wait, take me there. How do we share your personal information? Information you share with us your name your email address if you provided your location your date of birth your gender email communication Okay, this seems pretty address bank account and payment card details. Oh god Well, you have to pay the 40 bucks to be fair profile data including your username. This all seems pretty basic But wait, what do you mean? Are you sharing it with people? Are you are you giving our information out how we store and use your personal information? Wait You're sharing people's personal wait. This isn't just a Willy Wonker scam. This is a this is a, like an actual scam, like a literal one. And it, it ended up looking like this. Wow. This is engaging. Look, this feels like real. I, I can see the dark tunnel right now, the twilight tunnel. Oh my god, I need. I, I wonder if there's any uh, Oompa Loompers in there. Oh my god. <laughs> this is worse than that one That one uh, convention with the ball pit. Wasn't that, was that a VidCon or a TanaCon? DashCon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is worse than. <laughs> this stupid image. <laughs> it's literally, it's like people pulled up to, oh my god, a mirror? So you get to look at yourself for all the terrible decisions you made to get you to this point. <laughs> Thank you, whoever, a pink ninja said here it was missing something. Yeah, they fixed it. They fixed it. This is actually one of the goofiest games I've ever seen. How? How? How could someone look at this and think, oh, oh my god, they brought Gene Wilder back. Oh, just for me to go to this warehouse in the middle of Europe to, like, I don't know, get kidnapped? Imagine if it wasn't actually a scam to get your money and it was actually, like, a kidnapping scam. This, that could have easily, easily ended in kids getting taken away and never seen again because they thought that Willy Wonka would be in there. But no, it's actually an empty warehouse full of old men who want to sell you. This is just scary. The fact that AI got this many people is concerning. I feel like there needs to be, like, a... A public PSA put out for people to be like, hey, guys, um, never trust anything ever anymore <laughs> at all, period. I think, realistically, I think that what needs to happen is people need to be told that, like, you shouldn't trust anything unless you see it from four or more sources. Maybe. Mi at minimum, really. Because, like, 
do you think that you're gonna see something online now that AI Im video, even AI videos exist now, and and you can be like, oh yeah, this is real. No, this happened. No, you need to see it in multiple places first. <laughs> Clearly, because they went and saw Willy Wonka and it ended up being a goddamn scam. I mean, come on, man. It had cagitating and it had catchy tons, carchy tons, and exerced your day lollipops. I, I'm let down, really. It's, it's truly sad. I, I want to go back to the good old days, back in the, <laughs> in the Wild West era, when you could hold someone to their word, and if you didn't, you could just blow them up <laughs> with a stick of dynamite. Now you can lie online and get away with it. Stupid assholes. But yeah, I had... <laughs> I absolutely had to talk about this in front of a camera. I hope you enjoyed. I literally recorded this all in one take. I sat down at my desk, went through all of it, and just recorded it. So, I hope it wasn't too jank, goofy, or silly. I hope it was also, though, goofy, silly, and jank. Because it was funny to look into, and I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe! If you are new, I make videos every single day. Although, I might start spacing videos out soon. Thank you guys for being here. Like the video to catch me on your homepage more often, and I'll see you in whatever I do next, which will probably be something about, uh, something, I have some funny joke politics coming up. We'll, you'll see it when it comes out. Thank you guys, and as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night, and, um, yeah, don't believe everything you see online. Please, you're gonna get scammed.